guys, so today is really exciting because I'm included in one of YouTube's biggest collabs uh, featuring, let me get my list because I am going to forget people. In this collab are Pixie Woo, myself, Dustin Hunter, Jordan Liberty, Smash and Beauty, Pecha Cozina, Carly Musle, Lauren Luke from Panacea81, and Julia Graff. This collab is gonna be all about the makeup from a designer show or like a campaign or whatever. We all had to do a look inspired by a designer makeup. And if there's one designer makeup I've been wanting to do for ages now, it's the Techno Butterfly look from Pep McGrath at the Dior Spring Summer 2013 uh, show. And this by Pep McGrath called Techno Butterfly look has been in my inspiration folder for so long and I've been always wanting to do this look so when I was invited for this collab I was like okay I know exactly what look I have to do it's the techno butterfly and I definitely want you guys to check out all the other gurus in this amazing collab so I will put all the links to the videos in the info box below plus I will have a separate blog post featuring all the videos from all the collabers I'm just making that a word now. And just all the videos are gonna be in the blog post so you can watch them one by one. But without any further ado, I can't wait to show you the techno butterfly look inspired by Pat McGrath at the Dior 2013 Spring Summer Show. All right, so the first thing I wanna do for this look is apply a luminous radiant base. And for this, I'll be using my L'Oreal Lumi Magique um, Pure Light Primer. And this will really get that glow going for you because it has a lot of shiny particles in it which i think look very pretty because it makes you look very glowy and very radiant and luminous but sometimes it can be a little bit too much so mm, be careful with it for foundation today i chose my face and body by mac and this is c1 and then once that's on i want to give it a little bit more coverage here and there and for that i'll be going for my bobby brown skin foundation stick in zero porcelain but first face and body and as usual i'm applying this with my makeup geek stippling foundation brush And that combination makes your skin look super natural and perfect, but without going too far with it. Plus, I love that glow that face and body gives you. To further conceal, I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear NC15, as always. And as always, blending that in with my Sigma F86. Okay, now I'm going to set my face loosely, so not too much powder. We want to keep that face and body glow going on. I'm going to take my Chanel Natural Loose Finish Powder in number 20, Claire, for that. And then I'm just going to do brows. I know the brows in this look are a little bit more natural, so I'm going to try. Plus, I'm going to do one eye off camera, and then I will be back. Okay, so for eyes, the first thing what I did was prime my eyelids using my Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. And the first eyeshadow I'll be using is Wisteria by Makeup Geek. And I'm going to pop Wisteria on my lid. And with this, I'm going to build the shape that I want for this look. For this look, what I noticed is that they went straight into the inner corner meeting up to the nose bridge. Oh no, purple on my nose. So they kind of went straight out and then straight up. So it sort of becomes a square on the inner corner of your eye. So I'm gonna take this up and then from there, go in my crease again. And right now it looks absolutely horrendous, I know, but it works out in the end. So taking more wisteria and blending that up till the crease on this very inner part here. Then with an angled brush, I'm going to determine where I want the outer wing to go to and you want to match them pretty good. I'm just going to go a little bit more flat than following the waterline. And same thing for that outer part here. You kind of want to drag it straight out like that. I know, shocking. 
You wouldn't want to do this on a day-to-day -day basis, but for now you want to. <laughs> I am going to fill that entire space up. And then for that outer part, you kind of want to flick it out softly. So it kind of blends into nothing. Now with a blending brush, I'm going to work on diffusing the edges and making them a little bit softer and also going a little bit higher up. But you still want to keep that sort of square shape. And for the inner corner here, I like to flick it onto the nose bridge and softly flick it up to the beginning of my brow. So really take that color and flick it onto the side of your nose and up to your brow. And then for that outer corner here, just diffuse and soften up the edges a bit. You also want to pop that color on the very inner corner, so I'm just going to add that right there and then connect to that shape, to that square here. Taking a little bit of Sugar Pills Poison Plum and with this I'm going to add some depth on that inner corner. And just, you know, kind of overall, just everywhere. Then for a slight touch of blue, I'm going to go with Illamasqua's Imagine. And lightly dust that over the lid. And then I wanted the slightest bit of sparkle on the lid because I'm keeping the lid bare. And for this, I'm going to take my Makeup Studio um, Jewel Effects in Shine. And I'm just taking a really tiny bit and popping this onto the middle of my lid and then blending up to the crease. Then you want to wipe the brush off and kind of soften this up a bit. A little bit, just like that. Now it's time for the showstopper of the look, the crystals. I picked three colors that I'll be using today and I got them at Backstage in Amsterdam. Backstage in Amsterdam sells so many amazingly colored Swarovski crystals and uh, they have them in different sizes. So I wanted a medium sized green oil one. So I picked this one. I also picked this really small green one. It's the same color as that bigger one. And then the same size as that green, but just in a crystal pinky color. And the shape you want to follow for this look is put some smaller ones here on the very inner corner. Then surround your crease with the bigger ones and then blow out with the smaller ones again. And then some bigger ones mixed into that. But you just want to keep the biggest ones in your crease the smallest ones on the inner corners and blow up with that as well. And what I'm going to use to make these stick is my duo eyelash adhesive. And then a very neat trick that I picked up is with a Q-tip. You want to wet it? And then once you press it onto the crystal, they actually stick onto the Q-tip and you can just pop it onto the glue. And now just with the Q-tip and the crystal, Place it where you want to place it. something you should be having at the end. I'm just going to double tap them again to secure them. What I'm not going to do is really carefully curl my lashes and add a little bit of mascara. This is my Waterproof 3D Extra Black by Makeup Studio and just on the top lashes because you want the bottom to be really clean and bare. And then the butterfly techno butterfly winged eyes are completed. Okay, so for cheeks, you want to keep everything really clean and healthy. I'm going to, however, do some contouring because I think my face doesn't look complete without some contouring, so I'm going to do that. And today I'll be using my Illamasqua eyeshadow in Heroin. Then for blush, I want to use a new product that just came in today. This is the Hourglass Lighting Blush in Dim Infusion, and I've been lemming this product for forever, so I'm so excited to use it today. So I'm just going to take a little bit and pop this on the apples of my cheeks and 
Oh my gosh. It's such a healthy glow from within color. I love this. And then for highlighter today, I wanna go for the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Pearl. And on top of that, a little bit of the Balm's Merry Luminizer. So I'm first gonna take the Becca one with my finger and slightly tap that on where I wanna highlight. I also want a little bit on my nose. Cupid's bow. And chin. And then, as I said, with the Balm's Mary Luminizer and a fan brush, I'm just going to take a little bit and slightly dust this over that. For lips, you want to go for a really nice flattering nude with a little bit of gloss. So what I'm going to do is just take out this entire color using a little bit of Max Myth. I just want it to be super nude. Then with my finger, I'm going to tap a lot off. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the Hourglass Femme Nude Nude Number no. 1 lipstick and just do add a little bit of color into it. And I do definitely want that Cupid's Bow highlight to be really stark and intense. So I'm going back with my The Balm Merry Illuminizer and my fan brush. And just going over one more time. I just want that to be really intense. And then for a gloss, I'm going with a little bit of my Color Your Smile Whitening Lightning Lip Gloss in Buttercream. Just a little bit. And that, guys, concludes my look for this designer makeup collaboration with all these amazing, talented gurus. And it was such an honor being included in this amazing collab. Thank you so much. For a full list of every single product mentioned and used throughout this entire video, go to my blog, NikkiTutorials.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. That all is Nikki Tutorials. As always, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it. Definitely go check out all the other gurus. I will have all the links in the info box below. Plus, I will have a separate blog post link where all the videos of this entire collab are included. So you can just watch them uh, one by one. Plus, at the end of this video is an end card and you can just click on the picture and then it will take you to the video. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.